how the heck do we use negative numbers? What are they for? There are a number of reasons that we might use a negative number, and we've already seen one of them. So for example, when the price changes from $10 to $5, we say that that's a change of negative $5. How else? Well, sometimes in a measurement, the place that we say is zero is kind of arbitrary. And so we say that anything less than that is negative. So for example, in the Celsius scale, zero degrees Celsius is defined to be the freezing point of water. If it's 10 degrees Celsius colder than that, then the temperature is negative 10 degrees Celsius because the temperature is even less than the temperature that we picked to be zero. We can use negative numbers also to represent a direction. Hmm. What does that mean? Well, direction on the number line would be an example. So right is positive, left is negative. Another example might be, say, at some point in a valley somewhere, the altitude is described as negative 85 feet. Altitude of a location describes how far that place is above sea level. So if the positive direction means above sea level, the negative direction is below sea level. So that negative 85 feet means 85 feet below sea level. The last place we commonly see negative numbers, and it's a place where we very commonly see them, is used to represent debt. So what do I mean by that? Well, for example, if my bank balance is negative $25, what does that mean? That means I owe the bank $25. If I owe the bank $25, that means if I go to the bank and deposit $25 in my account, then I'll be broke. Right? I have to give the bank money just to have a balance of zero. Uh, 